Hello, my lovely third graders. Um, today is the reading for Monday, May 11th, but I'm getting this to you a little late because this link wasn't working, and then I checked today, and today's Tuesday, and it's working. So I'm reading this to you today, and I'll send it to you today, as in Tuesday. Sorry it's a little late, but that's all right. Um, the title is The Problem with Ponies by W.M. Ackers. We have a nice little visual of ponies. I don't like ponies, said Stacy. Too bad, said Jane. It's my house. Stacy looked at her friend. Jane was wearing a hat with a pony on it. Her shoe, shoes had pony on them. So did her shirt and her bracelet and her pants. She was even wearing a ponytail. On the walls of her bedroom were posters of ponies. Her notebook was covered in pictures of ponies. All of a sudden, or all of her stuffed animals were ponies, except for um, the one that was just a horse. She was a pony girl. Stacy was not a pony girl. She thought horses were just okay. Sometimes she liked to play Jane's games. They would make up different make up names of for different ponies. Names like Windcatcher or Starfire. Sometimes they would pretend to be ponies. They would run around and make pony noises and play pony games. Other times they would pretend to ride ponies. Whee! Jane would shout, I'm riding a pony. After a while, though, Stacy would get tired of ponies. There were so many other games to play that they could play school, they could play house, they could even play pirates. But whenever her mother took her to Jane's house, it was only ponies all the time. Today, Stacy said no. I don't care, she said. I want to play something different. Like what, said Jane. What about pirates? Pirates is a game for boys. Then what about house? House is boring, said Jane. You know what isn't boring? What, said Stacy. Ponies. Stacy sat down. She dug her fingers into the dirt and pulled up thick clumps of grass. She tried to think of a way to make them both happy. I have an idea, said Jane. What, said Stacy. We could play unicorns. Unicorns are the same as ponies. They are not, said Jane. Ponies don't have a horn. Unicorns have one horn. Stacy thought that Jane was difficult. That's what Stacy's mother said whenever she had to whenever she had to get her way, no matter what. What we need, said Stacy, is a compromise. What's that? said Jane. A compromise is where you get a little of what you want and a little of what I want, and then we're both happy. Jane did not like the sound of this. I promise it will work, said Stacy. Okay, said Jane. What's your idea for this compromise? We play school, said Stacy. She saw Jane about to get mad, but it isn't an ordinary school. Why not? It's pony school. This made Jane smile. Am I a pony? asked Jane. Yes. And you're a teacher? Yes, but not a pony. I'm not a pony. Jane thought for a minute. She thought hard. Finally, she stood up. She made her pony face. Are we ready to begin the lesson? asked Stacy. Whee! said Janie. They played pony school all day. All right, so that is your reading problem with ponies. The next link will be the comprehension questions that go with it. Have a wonderful day.